How's it going, fellow Samurais? And this is another episode of Dungan Run Patrugger Happy Havoc. And in today's episode, we are sitting in the dining room in complete silence. Nothing. And these chairs, these like metal beach chairs, kind of. They remind me of a vacation I used to be. I mean, I used to be. I was once on. And for some reason, there was there were chairs like that at the hotel. And that was like 15 years ago. Might have been the last vacation I was properly on. Maybe I'll change it this year. That's kind of my new year resolu resolution. To go on a bigger vacation. Get some days of work. Save up some money. Go somewhere fucking nice and fun and memorable. Instead of, I don't know, fucking neighbor town. town fucking see some bullshit I've seen plenty of times already. And suddenly we were greeted with... God damn it, really? <laughs> You again? Is he broken? <sighs> I suppose his emotional stability reaches its limit. Man, Kyoko, you're just the funniest. IG3 for some sin act 61. Jeez, what the fuck? However, What's that? I wonder what the fuck was that all about? I couldn't help but let out a sigh of... Relief of this bullshit filler being over. Ah. Is that Makoto? Why the stalker looks like she's planning to kill me. She's like, finally, I get to kill him myself. Awesome. Who to put the thumbnail number over? I think Hero looks pretty dumb, so I'll just put the number on his face. <laughs> From the center, on the middle of the screen, what is it? Tina's. Hina, Tina, Hina's huge boobs. Awesome. They got their priorities straight, you know? I mean, what do you think? Byakia's gonna run towards me like guys. this? Hey, you guys. Yes. There's no two ways about it. That's Makoto. Yeah, who else? Huh? You s survived? What a bummer. Jeez. You're like a stubborn little cockroach, you know that? Oh, thanks, Byakia. Old buddy. I'm just asking to make sure, but... You're not a ghost, right? Everyone was there, all my maybe friends who had struggled together and survived. As soon as I saw their faces, I uh, couldn't fucking help myself but to vomit. Start to tear up. Yeah, me too. Except I'm tearing up from the fact that I can't fucking breathe through my nose. What? <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot the, the his voice. Wait, what's that smell? What the heck? Is that what he sounds like? Yeah, man, it seriously stinks. Ah. It's Makoto, he smells like shit. <laughs> well, I've been sleeping in shit, so... Yeah, get away, shoo, shoo. I would like you're the one to say. You're the one who took the longest to take a shower here. I think. And in a flash, my tears dried up. I realized that I don't have any fucking friends. What's up, all of you? What's up, Hina? So what have you guys been doing while I was gone? What were you doing, you know? Mm. I would figure that since the trial was over, we'd get access to new places again. And... Mm. No dice, all the rooms that were locked before were still locked. If there weren't any new areas. Then where can we go to find new clues? Clues is a funny word, so the clues. Clues. <laughs> I stink, are you rotten? <laughs> rotten you. physically, mentally, even... Every way you can be rotten. Sorry. I was rolling around in garbage for a while. <laughs> that smell is so smelly. <laughs> oh, Jesus fucking Christ. A super smell, you smell even worse than me. Way worse than me. Jesus fucking Christ. I would not want to be in like... Next to Toko. She's so fucking gross. <laughs> I win. She seems happy for some reason. I don't want to know why... Yaki, what's up? How's it going? How you been? Been surviving without me, huh? Dumbass? Still can't believe you survived. Yeah, me neither. You realize why I said you escaped execution. It was Alter Ego. He saved my life. That's right. Not too many people can say they had their life saved by a computer program. Hmm. Minecraft saved my life. I don't know about you, Byakia, but... I can say the same. I imagine it was a learning experience for you. And Hero, 
Your Yo. usual bullshit. Usual bullshit that adds nothing. My god, what was it like hanging out in the spirit world? I didn't go to the spirit world. You I know? went to the shadow realm. Did you get to talk to her? Who? Hmm. Miss Cleo. <laughs> Miss Cleo? No, I didn't talk to her. I mean, I didn't go to the spirit world. What is she? Miss Cleo from Vice City? I mean, who the fuck is Miss Cleo? I know who's Miss Cleo. She's like a... Uh, clairvoyant. From like... Te she was like on television and stuff in America, I think. She was the voice actor for uh, Grand Theft Auto's Vice City. Like the voodoo mama lady. I don't know what the fuck her name was. I don't remember. But she drugged Tommy into doing a bunch of weird stuff. But that's the only reason I know who Miss Cleo is. Because she voiced that character. Makoto. There's no time to indulge in an extended happy reunion. We need to explain to everyone what happened with Monokuma. Yes. Why is he broken? Explain. Explain what? Hmm. But is it okay that you're here? What if the mastermind catches it's you? It's true. That's related to what I have to tell you all. I need to tell you all about the class class trial was rigged. Last class trial. In other words. Class trial last. Trial last class. Trial trial. Man, Kyoko has a lot of repeating letters in her name. There's the I, there's the K, there's the O's. We're going to redo M Mukuro's trial. Huh? What? Seriously? A do-over? How about that? What's the point of redoing it? Makoto killed her, right? Yeah, I did. No, I didn't do it like I te kept telling you. Wrong. Makoto isn't the killer, and of course I'm... It's not me or any of you. <laughs> then who is it? I see. What she's saying is it was all the work of the Mastermind. Huh? What? You're saying the Mastermind killed Mukuro? That's right. That's right, it was all an elaborate trap convict contrived by the mastermind. Makoto spotted the trap in time and did not what he had to stop it. Did his usual shtick save my life. However, But his decision meant that he would be the one to die. What did you say? You spotted the trap, did you? You spotted the trap, did you, Makoto? You make it sound like it was easy. It's just, you know, However, when you're in love and stuff. But executing Makoto, who was in the Black End, is a clear violation of the school regulations. It's a clear violation of the school regulation. The rule states that only the Black End is to be executed. The Mastermind broke their own rule. Hmm. Which is why I negotiated with them to have the trial one more time. Huh? And then again. And again. And again until I get over 100 episodes of this stupid ass fucking game and then I'll be really mad. And the Mastermind agreed? Does that mean they really did break the rules? Hmm. I had no choice but to agree. Use the TV broadcast to gain the leverage you needed, didn't you? Correct. It's like I read the fucking script of the game. Also, we're doing the same pose. Very observant of you. It's like mocking him or some shit. I recall what you said at the end of the last trial. When you said, now's the mastermind, that's ensnared. <laughs> that's what you were referring to. What the fuck is ensnared? Don't be mean! Never heard that word before. Yeah, I'm not totally in the dark. I'm totally in the dark. I am. For anyone who doesn't understand, you can ask Kyoko to explain it again later. Mm -hmm. So knowing all this, what do we do? About that. It's about who killed Mukuro, right? So our job is to expose the mastermind? Hmm. But there's one more to that. More to it than that, correct? Uh, yeah. For us to win this time, I have to solve every last mystery surrounding the school. Huh? Every last mystery? But... We've been looking all around all this time and we still don't know anything, right? Anyway... You probably guessed already, but if we lose this time, everyone dies. Oh, no! Everyone? I hate what a bummer. You. Hey, who said you could agree to those terms without talking to the rest of us? <laughs> I'm fine with things the way they were. I'm fine with living here forever with Master. I mean, well, I want to get out of here as soon as humanly possible. Anyway... Anyway, at this point, the only way for us to survive is to unravel the truth. <laughs> interesting. In other words, one decisive final battle. A rather interesting development, I'd say. But... 
but figuring out who the mastermind is and how they killed Mukro and all this bullshit, <sighs> it's a pretty fall tall freaking order. Maybe for this time the trial is different, we know who are enemies now. So if we work together and search as hard as we can, I'm sure we'll solve all those mysteries. <gasps> I'm not so sure about that. God damn it, the pessimist. Hi. I can't agree with the idea of working together with everyone, because Byakya sucks ass. I can't agree, why not? I mean, working together with everyone seems like the most obvious way to solve all these fucking mysteries. Indeed. That's what I thought too at first. Until Monokuma gave us that little hint of his. Hint? <laughs> it's a very polarizing approach, I know, but okay, enough puns anyway, here's a hint. I'm sure I told you this already, but... The skilling game begun with <laughs> begun with 16 participants, all of them high school students. Jesus fucking Christ! And then the only per people to take a single step and hope speak since the killing game begun are those 16 students. I see. Monokuma said that, did he? And Kyoko's opinion is perfectly reasonable. Huh? huh but why? So, in other words, if the mastermind really is the one who killed Mukuro, as Kyoko says, then the mastermind would have had to set foot in this school, right? Onokuma could probably murder Mukuro, but there's no way he could have disguised the scene like that. In other words, but a co fuck, it's Junko who has fucking pretended the body. Mastermind Mukuro is still alive. How? What the fuck kind of evidence do I need for that? But according to Monokuma, the only people who have set foot in Hope's Peak are the 16 students who have been talk taking part in the killing game. Not the pair of despair like we fucking thought. <laughs> then the mastermind is... Still around us. There were 15 of us in the main hall at the very beginning. Oh, Taka, I missed him. He never got his time to shine. He, like, had this cool fucking second phase. And he died. Leon had a really cool design, but he was a fucking asshole and a piece of shit, and I hated him. Chihiro kind of had like a second life. Celeste had a lot of things going on, and I kind of hate that she's dead. Sayaka was cool. I liked her. She was cute. Who else? Who else? Hifumi was a human fucking garbage. I hate him, and I'm fucking glad he died. Junko over there. I'm not sure about her. She sounds like she's starting to make more and more trouble for us. Add in Mukuro and you get 16. <gasps> so the mastermind would have to be one of them. That's right. And of those 16 people we started out with, the only ones still alive are the people standing right here. Need I continue or do you get it now? What? You're saying the mastermind is one of us? No way! You can't be serious. What way? We can't say that for sure that's true yet. Morakuma might have just said all that to confuse Indeed. us. Oh my fucking god. It's certainly a possibility, but only one among us. Many. The mastermind being one of us is also a possibility. <laughs> and that is one possibility we can't ignore. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's an ultimate, right? The ultimate despair of nuts, so they must be a high schooler. <laughs> can't say it's not possible. But if one of us was the mastermind, they have to control him on Akuma somehow, right? But did you ever see anyone acting suspicious any time Monokuma was active? Oh, wow. He snuck off and controlled him in secret. But... I don't care how sneaky you are, we would have noticed him sneaking off that many times. I'm right, right? And maybe Monokuma was on autopilot. Maybe they loaded up the dialogue and acted in action beforehand. In that case, there's no way he could have had all those back and forth conversations with us. <laughs> well, it would have been entirely possible that they directed the flow of the conversation. Well, maybe, but still. Ding dong ping pong. King Kong ping pong. Ah, uh, this is a school announcement. I'm going to kill you all of you. You probably figured this out by now, but... Uh, I'm running out of budget. At this point, the killing game has now entered true <laughs> ending mode. I wonder if it will be the true ending, or do I get some kind of a fucking... <gasps> Secret ending by befriending so everyone. In the name of fairness, I will unlock every room in the school. That's cool. Thanks, Monokuma. Look wherever You're the best. you want. Solve the mystery in whatever 
way you see fit. <laughs> then we can all meet up at the class trial, okay? Okay. <laughs> That's nice of him. How very magnanimous to him to unlock all the rooms. That's fine. I don't know what the fuck that word was. What do you think, English is my first language? No. The time for talk is done. Now we need to begin our investigation. But... Hmm. I was planning on working alone from the beginning anyway. In the name of my family. In the name of the fucking... Crazy Frog. At this point I can rely only on myself of the Togami blood flowing through my veins. Hmm. I have no time to worry about the rest of you. Each of you must uphold your responsibility. Bye. Well then... Fuck you. After making his final statement, Byake left the dining hall. <laughs> Master, he didn't take me with him. Hey. Do you blame him? <laughs> oh, Master, the rest of you are like coffee with cream without the cream or coffee. Yeah. You're just all cups. You're totally useless. So bye. Yeah, see you later. We won't fucking miss you. With that taco trucked out of the dining hall. <sighs> and now she's gone. And you're gonna go off by yourself, right, Kyoko? Indeed. That's right. Hmm. Which just leaves Makoto, Hina, and me. You know? In that case, I'm gonna go by myself, too. Just a second! Wait, how come? How about that? Just wait and see, I'm gonna use my totally awesome spirit power to figure out the mastermind's identity. Would've been fun if, like, we had a little bit of, like, Hina following us around and shoot, like... She would be, like, the incompetent... Kyoko, like she would like cut in and be like, oh look, a clue, wonder what it is. Like Kyoko would have figured it out and Kina just had no fucking idea. <laughs> that would be kind of cool. Laughing loudly, Hiro left the dining hall. Aww. Everyone's really gonna go off by themselves? What about you, Hina? Wanna go with me? Hmm. No. I don't. I guess I'll do the same thing. But I mean, it's not that I don't trust everyone, you know, I just don't trust anyone. Yes, I mean... But up till now, I haven't really been all that useful. I just depend on Sakura and everyone else. Oh, don't worry, that's not gonna change. You're not useless. If you hadn't been here, I would have died. Who's my backup girlfriend? It's you, Hina. Huh? Makoto? <laughs> that's really nice of you to say. But... But still, I know I must have been totally useless. Okay. So I figured at least here in the end, maybe I can find something that will help us all get out of here. So I'm gonna go off and do it all on my own. <laughs> okay, see you later. You know, it was a surprisingly high spirit that she dashed out of the dining hall. And once again, it's just us two. Indeed. Oh, I thought you fucking left. You said you're leaving. Well, alright, let's fucking get out of here. What's up, Gilko? How's it going? Want us some coffee? Want some tea? We're in a dining hall. So we're gonna go off by your own too, right, Gilko? However... Well, I don't misunderstand. It's not that I don't love you or anything. I just fucking hate you. Just because we're going to do our search separately. Does it mean we can still... We can't still work together? So... That goes for all of us. I think I see what you mean. Doing our own investigating doesn't mean we can't work together in the end. I should just see it. I just see it as a splitting up to cover more ground, and then we can get back together and share what we found, and have some tea? Yeah, that's right. So then... Well, I better get going. I have an endless list of things I need to check. Correct. Like, if I'm anywhere else but this room, let me go and check. Monokuma said all the doors in the school had been unlocked, right? So we should be able to investigate every nook and cranny in the school. We can visit all the places we couldn't go before. Maybe even the entrance to the school is open now, so we can just fucking leave. Makoto. <laughs> Makoto, no matter what it takes, we have to uncover the truth. By all means necessary. But that Kyoko was gone. Leaving only me. Here I am again on my own. Investigating... The school... I've always known. I don't have time to waste either. I have to begin my search. They have to do it before episode 100, which at this point I don't fucking think I will pull off. Still can't believe the mastermind might be one of us. So that's what I have to prove. I'll prove that the mastermind isn't one of us. I'll expose the mastermind through identity and solve the mystery of the school. And then we can all escape together. 
awesome fucking butt rock kicked in. I guess I'll start by talking to him, taking another look at Mukuro's Monoku must file. The two explosions, the victim identity is unknown. They were, however, dead before the blast. The victim had been stabbed a single time with a knife which went completely through the body. They had also been struck in the head with an object about a stick at a metal pipe. The body was covered with other wounds, but these were at least several days old. Once you find out who killed Mukuro Ikusaba, then we'll know who the mastermind is. So where should I start by investigating to figure out who killed her? I guess I should start with the rooms that were unlocked up till now. The headmaster's room, the bio lab, and the door to the data center with the Monokuma's face on it, and the second floor. Oh my god, holy shit, so much. After that, I'll have to double check the areas that are connected to the murder. Which means the garden and the dojo. Okay, time to get fucking started. Shitty ass fucking list of things to do. Little star written on it, all very cute, Makoto. And then I have the true places to check at the true bullet section of your handbook. Just in case you forget. Right, how much time we got left? 10 minutes. Let's go revisit areas we've been to already. Let's go to the garden. Maybe the body is still there, who knows? Is it? Oh, the blast is still there, with the ashes from it. Um... Fuck. Huh? It's gone. Mukuro's body, Junko's body, it's not here? Who took Junko's body? Oh, the bodies, look, the bodies hit the floor. Maybe the body is inside the tool shed. Better check, just to be sure. It's like sitting, sipping tea. I didn't find anything even close to a dead body. But if it's not here either, then it must be. I have no idea fucking where. The corpses aren't the only thing I need to check in here. There's one other thing. That tarp. A tarp played a key role in another case. I better look into it. Look at the tarp, it almost got me killed. The killer used the tarp to keep the sprinklers from getting the body wet. Which means the killer might have left some clue behind here. Huh? Biolab. I didn't notice this before, but there's a small stamp on the corner of the tarp. It says Biolab. That's the origin. That's. Then this originally came from the bio lab. So I'll place my nether to bullet section of my handbook. Anything else worth looking at? Crazy diamond pickaxe? It's a pickaxe. On the handle it says crazy diamonds. The same thing that was written on the back of Mondo's code. This pickaxe is connected to Mondo somehow. Strange. It is strange, but it seems unrelated somehow. I like the garden, it looks pretty cozy. That's all we need to check here, but where could her body have gone? I better start looking for it. That's all I get to check here? Well, alright. Dojo. The Tojo Dojo. That's like a Yak Yakuza News account they follow on Twitter. They haven't been active in a while. Or at least I haven't seen them. Oh, Toko, so this is where you were. What do you want? What the fuck you want? Am I so disgusting you want me out of your sight? Yes. No, that's not it at all. I just thought maybe you'd find a clue. <laughs> Why haven't? I didn't find anything, not a single clue. I figured since this place was related to the case, I would have had to have something, right? But there wasn't anything out of the ordinary here. Just give it back, give me back my precious time. Calm the fuck down, bitch. What's your problem? Don't tell me to calm down and call me a bitch. Do you have any idea what I'm going through right now? Period. I don't know. When everyone finds out they're gonna call me useless, good for nothing. I'm just gonna say that. Maybe Byakuya, and maybe Hero, and maybe me. Yeah, you know what? We're gonna call you that. We're gonna call you useless for now. <laughs> useless. Master will. I'm not sure I can disagree with that. I don't want that. I'm sick of always being looked down on. Why won't anyone accept me? Well, that's a little too late to start having some kind of a fucking standing up for yourself arc. Well, I don't think there are any clues here, so then we're gonna get going. The more time I spent with this crazy bitch, the, the worse my mental state is. Well, I should probably check that stupid locker. A bunch of wooden lockers in here. We found a clue in here, but it was just the master medicine to frame Kyoko. Oh, so there really are no clues here. This was useless. How long is this episode? Should we go to the bio lab, I guess? We could go to the bio lab, see what the fuck is it about. Raw. War. Fuck yeah. Badass shit. Why is this room tilted like that? It fucking makes me sick. 
Well, here I am in the bio lab again on my own. Walking down the only road I ever known. It's so cold. It's like abnormally cold. I feel like I'm in a giant refrigerator. Seriously, why is it so fucking cold? Why are there... Oh my god, I hate this room. What is it like that? There's a stack of tarps here. I've been seeing a lot of these things lately. Could be related to the case. Or, you know, unrelated. Fuck it. Nice little desk. No, it's so cold. Why is it so cold in here? That's the first thing I need to figure out. Really? Maybe because there's fucking... It's a morgue? Some kind of a weird machine or something built into the wall? And this is a fridge. And on the left side is a bunch of glowing blue lights. But on the other side... Oh, the lights aren't on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Hmm. Seven. How many people are left? One, two, three, four, uh, four, five, six. Oh, and I guess counting Ukuro, that would make seven. So, is this where the fucking all of our friends are? Some kind of a weird machine or something built into the wall? It seems something like this before. It's it, I've seen this kind of thing in horror movies and stuff. Like... Ash vs. the Evil Dead. There was like a morgue scene where Ash hit a corpse up. Ash hit like his, his head stuck up a corpse's ass. I don't know, it's crazy. It's a fridge for storing dead bodies. Does that mean this bio lab is actually a morgue? I should probably take a closer look around. You want this again? There's some kind of weird machine and the lights are on the left. Uh, right hand side lights are off. Amazing. What does that mean? Oh, there's some kind of booklet here. It looks like an instruction manual. We offer an eco-friendly alternative. Standard dry ice for all of your cadaver needs. In addition to the germical lamps, we also provide an ozone generator for the removal of ethylene gas. Simply insert the gas and the blue light will let you know the automated system have activated. Temperature and humidity levels will be adjusted automatically for optim optimum settings. God damn it, too many complicated words, too many syllables. With a system, anyone can keep a body fresh as daisy for as long as you need. And the unlikely event of a problem, the relic light will activate and an alarm will sound immediately. The exterior is stainless steel and we do offer an ex optional leather upholstery upgrade package. This is the instruction manual for the fridge. While looking around, I think I get it. It seems clear to me now. Some kind of makeshift morgue. Biolab secret has been added to bullet section of your handbook. How about those lights by each slot? It looks like it's set up so that when a slot is occupied, the blue light comes on. Which would mean inside each of slot lit up in blue, another one of the victims is... Blah, 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 blah. I can't let my emotions take control right now. That means Celeste... Celeste crashed by a truck corpse is one of them. I don't even want to see that. Also, stabbed to death Sayaka is probably in the first one. There's only one thing I can do for everyone who's died, and that's defeat the mastermind. And to do that, I have to continue my investigation. I don't have any other option. Tarps. It's like a tarp. I've been seeing a lot of these things lately. Is that it? Leave the area. Thank you. Guess I'll fucking leave. What other place do we have to go? Where are the secret place? Hina's there, I like hanging out with Hina, she's nice. Oh, Kyoko, she's not being cold to me. She's actually being nice. What up, Hina? Hey, Makoto. I was about to talk to you, but you did it instead. Ah, uh, Makoto, you are here to look around too? Is that what you're doing here? Mm. Or just sitting around? Yeah, I can help wonder what about that Monokuma yeah. door. So I figured... If all the doors at school have been unlocked, that one should be open too, right? 
Although I couldn't bring myself to open it. It might explode, right? And that really sucks for you opening. I'm sure she didn't mean it, but she made it sound like she was okay with me getting blown up. She is, probably. I mean, fuck you, Makoto. Well, we'll check this Monokuma door next episode. See you fellas in the next episode. Bye.